bringing in. So this is someone that I will heap praise on, and I just want to make sure his head stays where I need it to, but I'm going to heap praise on because it is someone that I'm very proud to call a friend and someone that's done extremely well. And we're going to talk about not only brunch with milk money, come in, Ed Brady, but we're going to talk about all of his successes. Hey, Rick. Come What's up, buddy? Thanks Thank for you. having me. Good yeah. to see you. Of course. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, of so i, I got to get you a glass or something so we can do this. Yeah, you know, cause I know you're, I know you're tired. Ed has been up. I got a text message from the other day. He's been up since 4 a.m. You know, a lot of late days, long times going on, right? Yeah, absolutely. We just opened a donut shop in Warwick. It's called uh, Four Corners Coffee. So uh, it's the first week, and yeah, a lot of early mornings, but that's the business. And Mr. Entrepreneur, so it's going to be a new yeah. title that we'll give him. Yeah. All right, so let's see. You want to do some rosé with me? Yeah, that sounds great. Look at this. All right, so we'll get to the donuts at the end. Cause I yeah, we're talking, talking milk money. We're going to talk milk money. Absolutely. So tell me about milk money. How long has milk money been open? So milk money's open uh, almost two years now. It's at 566 South Water Street. It's in Providence, Fox Point. It's uh, like two minutes from here. Yeah, not far. It's right near the ferry. So I know it's about that season where people are going to be taking that uh, brunch is Saturday and Sunday from uh, 9 to 3. Uh, 9 to 3, okay. You can, we can take reservations, which is you know, kind of unique for this area. A lot of places, uh, popular places don't. They want you to be walking and try to see if you can get a reservation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the challenge. So, yeah. Um, you know, yeah, you know, we recommend the reservation. The phone number is 401-649-4667. Make sure them. Don't worry, I'll be putting it online. Don't yeah, worry. yeah. Well, it's good at the plugs, but don't worry. Yeah, I, I got you covered already, right? So, right? so, <laughs> so yeah. That's so, good. but from Milk Money's perspective, I mean, it was a change because your original, the concept over the original was vanity. Yeah. And then you came yep. in and now it's Milk Money. And I, I have to say, I've not been in for brunch yet, but I've been in a lot of times in the evening. And this, mm -hmm. you know, my favorite haunts are going out in the evening. Mm -hmm. So from the perspective of Milk Money's Brunch, and you've got a great team that you work with, and Ed is one of the partners that you know, helped develop the concept, and you've got a great crew that's over yeah, there. Yeah, Milk Money on a regular basis. We're very fortunate. Uh, I, I partnered up with one of my best friends growing up, uh, Jared Millay. And uh, you know, he lived in L.A. for 10 years, and he worked under Suzanne Gowen, who was a James Beard award-winning chef among many other popular restaurants. So a lot of the, his inspirations uh, blended with my executive chef, Antonio Wormley, uh, and Marissa, who also, they're both Johnson & Wales graduates. I like to hear that, Johnson yeah, & Wales. absolutely. Uh, you know, we love to hire local. Uh, you know, I, I just can't be more proud of the product they've put together in the last few years and the buzz that they've created. And I mean, you go in on a Saturday and Sunday, and it, you know, there's a wait every, every weekend. And right. uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a craft bar, and you know, it's a craft kitchen. And, you know, only, the menu could change from week to week, and it's a different product. And so, let, so let's talk about that. And I do want to give, I mean, Jared is fantastic, and your chef is fantastic. And I added one of the things that he's that very, you're home. You really are. And I was joking around about his one, but he is a humble guy. You're a great, great promoter for all of your brands and all of your concepts that you're well, out there. I appreciate there. So, it. I appreciate um, it. And, and Jared, I got to plug Bryant University for <laughs> my for making it. <laughs> and um, uh, originally, I went to a great restaurant called uh, Renaissance and the Sun. <laughs> that's going back to uh, you know Rick's days. Uh, I'll tell you though, you know, one thing I, I remember from Rick, uh, not to segue off of me because he was just trying to say it. No, but you know, I respected that when he was uh, owning back then. You know, he was he would pick up a dish and. You know, he was he was in there working the trenches just like anyone else, and that's what owning a business is. That and, absolutely is. You know, I, I remember that from when I was 21 years old, watching you run around the restaurant, not Thank nothing you. was above you, and you know that was really cool, man. A lot of respect. Thank you, my friend. Cheers, Cheers. absolutely. Cheers. So. I don't know where we were. Yeah, no, I know you made me like you made, you made me <laughs> blush like, a little. Just on me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you made me blush a little. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's where I go back to the fact that this is good too. It's very good. This is. Yeah. Look at this. Are we plugging this? This is yeah. This is from Gasparos. I got mm. up on the hill. Okay. Go bar. It's it's. They got a rosé and a prosecco they brought in, but the whole thing behind this has been the the fact that it's low in calorie, and they they plug that for that summer wine stuff, but. Gasparos, I gotta tell you, I go up in there, you know, yeah. it's like less than twenty dollars. And up, they're always involved in a lot of charity events and yeah. you know, you hear their name everywhere, Style Week coming up again. Yeah. Gasparo is one of the main sponsors. So So with that, going into the brunch, so let's talk about a little bit about that. So back to me. Back to you. It's not <laughs> embarrassing. Me. So back to back to that. So Milk Money, where'd the name come from? You know what's kinda cool? Uh, well I think it's cool, and people might not think it's cool, but you know, when I was living with Jared in LA, um, we were trying to be famous, we were extras on sets, and we were, you know, we had all these ideas for uh, restaurants and clubs, and we had a notebook, and we were literally just jotting things down, so to see, you know, that was one of the names that was in the notebook. Going way back then, that was one of the names back, in the Yeah, over a decade later, we had Milk Money was a name, you know, we just, you know, there's a, uh, Milk Money to us was important, you know, our parents in our day and age, obviously the Milk Man still came to the house, maybe that's a dying breed, but 
you know, it was important money. She, they would hide the money around the house and they'd say, you know, make sure the milkman gets this money, you know. So to us, it was, you know, especially when you go into a recession or tougher times, you know, it's tough asking people to come out and spend their money. So Absolutely. milk money to us is, is important, you know. It's, so it's kind of a sign of quality. Money. Yeah, quality, exactly. So that's kind of where the name came from. And we, we incorporated a lot into the design. We have a lot of antique and old school milk crates, the wood in the actual space, yeah, yeah. you know. It's from the original governor's house. It was the floorboards from the 1600s. So the floorboards from the 1600s. Yeah, yeah. So it was really. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it's didn't. awesome. That's so, fantastic. Yeah, and we we lose a lot of craft local craftsmen to make the wood and. Um, yeah, I mean, if you haven't been, come check it out. Hope no, you, you got to absolutely check my thing out. But selection-wise, going into the menu again, so you're saying that the menu is an evolving. Process. It does. It changes. Um, you know, some of the some of the things, you know, stay for the most mm -hmm. part. will you know, we'll change it up. Um, you know, the hash is very good, but we'll change what goes into the hash with the daily special. Uh, French toast is very good. The bread is made in house. Uh, like I said, it's a scratch kitchen, a kitchen and a scratch bar. So, um, so whenever we're getting fresh that day, you know, we're not. You guys are sourcing constantly. Constantly. You're out there. Yeah. So, uh, Milk Money is a, an easy location to go to, and it's a fun spot to walk into. That area again is another great area to walk around. People yeah, have their cars, have their brunch, walk down to India Point Park, go back and forth. They're building it all up with the you know the nursing school and uh, right. you know when we originally went to that location five or six years ago, prior when it was Vanity, that's what we were looking forward to the you know them building that area up and right. now it's, to see it come to fruition it's, it's kind of amazing just to see this city constantly keep evolving it's why i love proud it's why it's love around that's why you know we continue to try to build things here and, and he came back from la to stay with us oh, absolutely. <laughs> right. all right so now let's talk just a little bit so we got these other great concepts as they're all in your envelope and i can't promise that he won't be in again or someone else from his wonderful group be in again because he's got really good concepts other things so just in Providence, we mm -hmm. have milk money. What else? Yeah, do we, have? we have say cheese, which is uh, right down the street. Okay. Which is uh, late, you know, you can get late night grilled cheese and mac and cheese and lunch, uh, all different types of different mac and different grilled cheese. My partner, Lupe, one of my best friends. Martin. Lupe's a regular. I yeah, he's on air all the time. Yeah, I, you know, he, he works really hard with his team over there. So uh, very proud of him. Um, we have the Thirsty Beaver in Cranston and Smithfield, yep. which is an upscale uh, hometown pub and grub. Um, very cool concept. Log cabin. Uh, Cartoon Beaver, you know, karaoke during the week, trivia. It's a great um, spot. And, you know, better than your average burger, nacho, pizza, fun, comfort food. I was a regular when I lived in Cranston because it was like two seconds from my house, so I loved that. Yeah. Ed used to drive by yelling, hey, Rick, when I was out in the front yard <laughs> watering my flowers. Yeah. He's, go he's going to hang out and I'm watering flowers, but that's okay. Yeah. So, and then the newest thing that just happened, so we've got donuts. Yep, donuts. And Obviously. coffee. Hang over. Yeah, oh. yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's a big crave. Uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of, you know, PVD Donuts need some of our, you know, the more popular craft bake shops, which I truly respect. Um, you know, it's just, it, even going throughout the country, Voodoo Donuts, uh, you see it and, you know, you kind of get inspiration. And uh, Warwick, we thought was, uh, Ali's Donuts are also very good. Warwick, uh, <laughs> you know, we... we Warwick, Told you humble. <laughs> yeah, so we, you know, we, 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 we respect everyone in the bit, you know, we're all a little different in our own way, but, you know, we came up with this really cool concept. It's uh, craft Donuts, they're all square. It's the home of the square donut. Um, but, you know, it's not just donuts. You come in, you get a breakfast sandwich made on site all day, you get a full breakfast, you can get French toast, pancakes, eggs until 6 p.m. But in, And I love the fact that you're humble. And I, these guys are great that are doing this too. But, whoa! We have Talk about donuts. a segue. Yeah. Look at that. Look at Molly coming <laughs> in with the donuts. I'm, so, surpri I'm yeah. surprised there's still three left. Yeah, right? So these are kind of what we're doing. Oh my gosh. So this is a, uh, you know, uh, cookies and cream, Oreo uh, donut. You know, we just have a quick Jesus, this goes But if you see, they're all square, square, which is kind of cool. And our baker, Andrea, who's been with us for a couple of years, she was our executive chef, and she kind of moves from location to location, mm -hmm. grew up in bakeries with, from, with her family. So, uh, you know, she was really inspired, and this is a concept she talked to us about, and, you know, we kind of just helped make it a reality. I mean, I, I have to say, I mean, I know you were at Providence, you started here in the Cranston, so you kind of branched out into these areas that actually could use these type of things. The ones that have been established here in Providence, they're, they're going like gangbusters right now in mm -hmm. this I think going into Warwick was a, a very good thing for you and helps that area. But this is awesome. So we got glazes, sprinkles, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. What's this one? This is, this is like a cookie and cream Oreo donut. Amazing. And, yeah. I, and I recognize this because my kids eat this. This got to be cinnamon toast. You know, it's cinnamon, cinnamon toast, toast crust. So, I mean, we've had a ton of kids come in. Uh, we made 1,500 donuts the first day and uh, sold out. 2,500 donuts yesterday and sold out. And we made 3,500 today and sold out. So, so this um, will tie into Mother's Day. So if you're listening and you don't have that brunch reservation, because you could be in trouble, let me just say that. Pick up some donuts. Go pick up some donuts, because this right here, not only will you be ahead with your kids, you're going to be golden with your wife or your and we do mother. still have some reservations that milk money after two we unfortunately don't have any before two pretty busy day so is it brunch and dinner that you're doing on mother's day um at milk money, at milk money yeah. uh 
Brunch. Brunch the whole time. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Sunday night is the only night that we close at Milk Money. Um, so how late will the brunch run till on Mother's Day? Probably about four o'clock. So you got two to four. Quick, yeah. get on the phone. Get on, on the website. The next so minutes, check it yeah. out. And and if not, like I said, you got a backup here. You got the donuts. This yeah, is yeah. Fantastic. Thank so you, sir. this you've had a lot of news. This is great because I like to try to get some of the news in there, and I appreciate you telling us about all these things. Is there anything else with milk money that you think we should recognize? I know that it's got you got the brunch, you got the dinner. Yeah, I mean, just getting back to you know, like I said, I'm so proud of the team there. Um, you know, to watch people evolve that have been with me over the years. Ryan Drain is one in particular. Um, you know, he's became a real craft, um, you know, bartender. You know, so to watch him, you know, work at clubs when he was younger, 21 years old, kind of in the same clubs that I was promoting when I was younger right. a decade ago. To watch him really evolve and you know travel the country and look at different bars and you know make his own everything scratch scratch bar and just watch him really kind of grow up and you know really take that program under under his belt you know people come back again and again and again for the cocktails just for the cocktails right um you know so it's, it's amazing from his perspective and, the, and then you're probably answering this question for him but i gotta believe that him crafting those cocktails is he's pairing them up with the dishes as well yeah absolutely you know i i give a you know i i'm good at you know you know what you know and you know what you don't know and surround yourself with people that um you know, good at what you're not good at. And uh, I'm very fortunate to, in each concept that I have, found the people that are really good at what I'm not good at. So, Well, congratulations, my friend. You've done well. And like I said, it's a, lo a long-time friendship. And I'm, I'm proud of what you accomplished. You seriously Thank done Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it, man. It's an awesome thing. Thank you for joining me oh, today. I, appreciate I know it, he's sir. exhausted, so... <laughs>